Hey guys, what's going on? Texas Gun Guy here. Just wanted to give you all a heads up. Uh, wanted to do a video this morning. I kind of been working on my homemade surface grinder and uh, whatnot. I needed a welder. Wanted a, an aluminum welder, something I could weld aluminum with. And uh, just got off the phone with Everlast to it with a salesman named Alex. And I know a lot of you guys out there have Everlast products, and I like them, and I wanted to check them out and. You know, a lot of you guys are real happy with them. Uh, um, Chucky2009, he's got it. He likes them. He's real happy with their products. And, uh, you know, James Green, he's got one. And I, I really wanted one. I was looking at the the, uh, the, T, the Power TIG uh, 185 DV, the dual voltage one. And, uh, like I said, I just got off the phone with a guy named Alex over in their sales department. And the guy interrupted me like five times before I finally just hung up. Uh, they sell them at Home Depot here in Texas. And uh, so I, I looked at it and, you know, I was looking at it. I was like, man, that's, you know, really, really liking that, you know. And uh, Home Depot threw up another one there. It, it, it was a Lotus, something or other. And it was a few hundred dollars cheaper. And... and but I really wanted the Everlast, you know, so I, I figured I'd call and talk to them guys. And their sales guy, Alex, was absolutely atrocious. I don't give a damn how good a product they have. I will spend a thousand dollars more and buy something from Miller or, or hell, anybody else. Anybody else. He said, I don't care who the hell they are before I buy an Everlast product. And uh, I just thought I'd share that with you. I, you know, I, there's a lot of things I can put up with. But by God, if I'm spending my hard-earned money, I'll be damned if I'm going to be talked to like I'm some sort of freaking idiot. You know, I'm 50 years old, man. I need them people like I need a hole in the head. I don't need some jackass telling me. I don't know what I'm talking about, or talking down to me, or interrupting me. Hell, I got a wife for that shit. You know, I don't need another one. So, just wanted to give you all a heads up that if you're considering an Everlast product, don't or don't expect customer service from them because they absolutely suck when it comes to customer service. You know. I really, really wanted an Everlast product. I really wanted that welder. I got a welding job from my neighbor down the street. He wants me to weld something for him. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to go out and spend money on another welder, and that's fine. But damn sure Everlast ain't getting a dime of that money. So, for all you people out there who, who like Everlast, you know, good on you. But... My customer service experience absolutely sucked. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I'm, just, I'm absolutely in shock. I'm, here I am spending, getting ready to drop $1,000 of my hard-earned money. And the guy interrupts me five or six times. I didn't want the $700 price that the other welder had on it. I didn't expect that. Okay, but it had other accessories with it that, and it included free shipping. You know, talk to me, walk with me. Oh, let's talk about it. What can you do? Nothing. Oh, I'll throw in free shipping. Well, screw your free shipping. You know, I don't need it. With that kind of attitude you people have, I don't need your free shipping. Y'all can stick your free shipping up your ass but that's how i feel i'm a little pissed off at him right now it may change but i doubt it because usually when i get a burn up my ass like this i'm done i'm done i don't need you it's my money i'm spending i don't need you i'm a customer you need me when i sold guns i never ever ever treating a customer like that, ever. If the customer brought me a gun that he left out in the freaking rain, I replaced it for free at my cost if I had to. Why? 
because that's the kind of businessman I was. And then, not then, oh hell no. Well, I can go on for hours about this, and I'm not going to. Just a short video of letting y'all know how my Everlast experience went. I ain't happy. I hope y'all have a good weekend. Better luck than I had. If you have to deal with them people, good luck. All right, out.